He knew fully well that uh, we had indicated that we are working on what will be the majority report uh, for the committee to consider to send back to the National Assembly. He, uh, he, he is alluding that the government side is attempting to gloss over some of the things that uh, or some of the wrongdoings within uh, financial wrongdoings within uh, the ministries. Absolutely not. In fact, uh, if the if you check the records, there are recordings of all these meetings. You will see that the discussions, the deliberations that we had over the various aspects of the Auditor General's report were openly discussed. In fact, um, uh, there were many, many occasions where we agreed on uh, practices that may have gone wrong and what can be done to fix them. Uh, but yet, uh, when the report came out, some of these things were not reflected in it, and that is what really took us aback. So uh, our position is uh, it is okay. The, the regulations allow for uh, the, the, a minority side to have a different view. It allows for two reports to be tabled back to the House of Representatives. So that is all fine and well. He has a different view, we have a different view. Both reports will be taken back. But what I don't appreciate from him is his seeking the media attention when he knows in fact that we uh, are working on the majority report, what will become the majority report. Um, in fact, from in December, we had scheduled a meeting for, um, for the 15th of January, which was to be yesterday, because he he um, tr threw us under the bus, so to speak. Uh, we weren't uh, in a hurry to do that meeting yesterday, that is true, but we've now scheduled it for next week, Tuesday.